Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today we're taking a look at the Bell & Ross BR03-92 Green Diver. And first I'd like to remind you that we're here at JB Hudson Jewelers in Minneapolis, Minnesota taking a look at this piece. They're an authorized retailer of Bell & Ross as well as many other premium brands. I'd also like to remind you that we'll be leaving links in the description to our channel store where we've listed our favorite watches and watch accessories for sale. Any purchases made on there do support the channel and greatly help us. So. Now starting off with this watch. So as I said, this is the Bell & Ross BR03-92 Green Diver. And um, starting off with the case, so this is a special edition because it has a bronze case with the exception of the case back which is stainless steel. And that's because bronze can have reactions with, some, with people's skin, so that's just essentially to protect them. Also I think that over time this watch is going to patina and I think that if you had your skin rubbing up against it, it would prevent the case back from patining at the same rate as the front, which would give an unattractive appearance to the watch. So that's probably why they do that. So this watch has a 42 millimeter diameter, and it really wears larger than that just because it's got a square case. So at the diagonals, it's greater than 42 millimeters. I do not know the exact measurement, but I guess you could use um, the Pythagorean theorem so um, to to correct for that. So, um, moving on to the movement in this watch. So this watch has the Bell & Ross Caliber 302 movement. It's really a Salita SW300 movement, which has a power reserve of 42 hours. That's a little bit lackluster in my opinion, as I tend to like watches to have power reserves of 48 hours or above, but it's an automatic watch. So if you're wearing this every day, you won't really have to worry about that. And this watch is a tried and true dive watch. It has a 300 meter water resistance and is very, very tough. But again, the power reserve is a little bit lackluster and I would prefer that to be greater. And this watch is a limited edition of 999 watches. Bell & Ross has this kind of a history of making limited editions of 999 watches. I don't actually know why they do that, but um, it, it is just a characteristic of the brand. So now I'll try this watch on for a wrist shot. And after I do that, I'll do a bezel test. Um, so as I said, the 42 millimeter diameter, it, it tends, I mean, it'd be fine on most people's wrists, but it does wear a little bit larger than that, probably more like a 45 millimeter diameter. Again, you guys can do the math, so do the square root of two times 42 squared and you'll get the, the, um, di the length of the diagonals. So that's something to note. Uh, sorry about the math, but um, now I'll try this watch is bezel out so it does give a rather satisfying click it has excellent lockup there's pretty much no shaking at all um, and you could definitely use it for diving very safely and it, it feels excellent one qualm i have about the bezel is that it has an aluminum bezel insert as opposed to a ceramic bezel insert i would much prefer a ceramic bezel insert some people don't actually prefer that but that's just my opinion so if you like this review please remember to like subscribe and share and remember we're at jb hudson jewelers in minneapolis minnesota thank you